Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm super excited to be doing this video. So I asked you guys to ask me some questions for this q and I got asked a few questions and I actually wrote them down. Can't really see that, but I wrote them down because I'm using my phone to film this right now. So, so the first question was, how old are you? I'm 17 years old. Um, yeah, but I'm turning 18 in like a month and a few days. And who inspires you the most and why? Um, honestly, I think just my family in general, I think there's specific characteristics and traits in just my family as a whole, not just my brother and my mom, my dad, but like all my other cousins and just my entire family, I think inspires me to be who I want to be and inspires me to just do what I want to do and be who I want to be. So yeah, but I think the person that inspires me the most, honestly, I would have to say is my cousin, um, Nadia. Shout out Nadia, because I know you're watching this. She inspires me the most. Her and Phoebe, actually my best friend, inspire me the most. Um, how are you able to make people around you feel good all the time? I don't want to sound like kind of fake, but in a way, I think the key to making a person feel good and feel... Okay, I don't really know what this question means. But yeah, um, I don't know what you mean by good. But I think you mean like happy. So I would say for me personally, the way I make people feel good is just by getting to know them and understanding who they are because everyone's different and everyone has different personality traits and everyone is just n not everyone's the same so i feel like there's specific ways i can act around some other friends and there's specific ways i can act around other people that like i'm also kind of close to you know so i think to make someone feel good and like happy i guess is just to know them and know what they like and their humor and their personality so don't really understand the question i'm very slow i don't know if you guys know this next question um a few people asked me what i'm gonna study and like which uni i'm going to yeah what course are you doing what uni do you want to go to i have a few courses that i actually want to do I want to do architecture, but mainly like interior design architecture. Um, but um, right now, actually focusing on business because there was a lot of complications that came with like the architecture and interior design where I needed like a portfolio and I couldn't actually do that because I didn't take art in high school. So I just ended up going for my second option, which was business. All the universities I applied to, I applied for business. And where are you gonna study? So I wanna go for like a, um, what's that thing called? A summer course. So I'm going for the summer, like there's like a foundation course that I'm gonna, that I've applied to. So I'm looking at two specifically, either the one in Vancouver, which is Simon Fraser, or um, the one in um, Manitoba, the University of Manitoba. So either one, I'm still, planning on which one I'm going to. Yeah, those are my two main options. So yeah. Why did you just start, why did you decide to start a YouTube channel? Um, well, if you've known me for a long time, like since like grade nine, you'll know that I've always wanted to like start a YouTube channel. And I had, I started one, I think in like grade 10 my first video I still have them I haven't deleted them or anything because I still wanted to keep those memories and have those videos but I'm just restarting my channel how I like it to be the reason I decided to start YouTube channels because I love filming and I love taking videos and making them and just editing them and just I love like editing is actually so much fun but it's just so long and you know 
but I love making videos. Um, I love doing, just filming. It's just so much fun for me. Um, will you carry on making YouTube videos in university? Yes, I will because, um, yeah, I, I really cannot explain any further. I will be making YouTube videos in university. Where did you learn how to do makeup? I actually learned a lot of my, the stuff that I know from YouTubers and just generally like some of my friends even and like family that also were into makeup. I learned a lot of things from my friend Phoebe. So yeah, anywhere I could get knowledge from, that's where I learned. But most of the time it was just like, practicing the whole time like practicing because i actually really like doing makeup and i like makeup as itself so i think just practicing and actually wanting to do it will make you better so i learned from um youtube and like family I'm sorry if I waffle in this video. I'm a very big like waffler. I like to go back and forth and in, in different places. So yeah, that's just that's just it. That's it. What are you doing this year? This year I am going to foundation school. And the good thing about foundation school is that with the ones that I applied to, I don't know if this is with all of them, but the ones I applied to you do your foundation school for a year so i think it's from mine's from may until like end of april next year and then um once i'm done with that i start in september again in 2021 and then i go into second year of university i don't go into first year what inspires you to start doing makeup a lot of people are actually asked this um yeah quite a few people what inspired you to get into makeup? What keeps me motivated to keep practicing makeup and what inspired me? Um, so what inspired me to do makeup was actually um, my friend Phoebe, because I remember in grade nine, I used to, I, I never used to like hate makeup, but I would never wear it. And I really didn't like like, I didn't think I would be one of those people that wore makeup and I just was like, no, I don't think this is for me. Don't really like it. It just feels very heavy. Do you get what I mean? Um, I'm, I remember like every weekend, Phoebe would come into my like dorm or I would go to her room and then we would just like, she would like do my eyebrows, do my makeup, like, you know, and just like, do my makeup basically and then i ended up just liking it like i like the way it looked my friend phoebe inspired me to do makeup so shout out phoebe love you i know you're watching this so yeah um and also what keeps me motivated to keep practicing makeup honestly i think people that encourage me like there's a lot of people that i know that actually encourage me and even people i don't know Oh, please do my makeup. Your makeup looks so good. Oh my gosh. Like, and you know, I think it was just so amazing to hear like all those comments and all those nice things to be said. And I think that was a big encouragement for me to just keep doing makeup and keep practicing because then I could get better and better and better. Continue and just share my knowledge, I guess. My favorite shoes at the moment. I have two favorite shoes. One I don't own at the moment, but I know I'm going to own them and I'm just so excited to just know that I'm going to own them. I think they're called like the Nike Retro... Um, I'll put a picture up somewhere just because I don't know the name of the shoe, but it's actually just the most beautiful shoe I think I've ever seen in my entire life. I will own them very soon. Because I'm speaking it into existence because I love that shoe. I think it's so beautiful. But the shoes I own currently um, that are my favorite, 
I would have to say are between my Air Force Ones, which are battered, like they're actually disgusting. Like, they are gone. And um, those Adidas um, Superstars, I think, actually there, like down there. Don't even know if you guys can see those, but yeah, they're right there. There's those, they're the Superstars. Um, yeah, the, those basic like ones that everyone used to have, those are the ones that I've been wearing the most, so I think they can classify as my favorite shoe at the moment. And what do you hope to achieve within this decade or by the end of this? I have a lot of goals specifically already for like 2020 and I think the decade is so long and we have so long to go because we just started but i think by the end of the decade i want to own my own business doing whatever i really don't know yet but owning my own business um probably have started a family um i actually want to travel quite a bit so i want there's a few countries that i think i want to travel to so I want to travel, um, finish uni, obviously, um, grow my YouTube channel. So I think there's just a lot on my mind and there's not really a specific goal that I've set for the decade, but I think just those vague things kind of will become more clear to me and then I'll end up building up on them by the end of the decade. What will your content be? So, I actually wrote this down because there's a lot of things that I want to do for my YouTube channel. I think a lot of people assume that I want to just do um, makeup videos on my channel, but that's literally not the case. The one thing I actually love most, more than even um, makeup, clothes. And I love like styling clothes. Recently, my... <laughs> Recently, like my um my outfits have just not been, you know, they've not been. But I am actually getting back into styling my clothes, and I'm so proud of myself. I bought so many new clothes now, and I'm just so excited to just, you know, I live in Uganda. If you guys don't know, I live in Uganda. Hi. But there's not really that much variety of like clothes and like different styles that I prefer to wear. So I think when I go and live now in Canada, when I'm in uni, I think I'll just get better at clothing videos and just wanting to improve my style. So I'm going to do a lot of clothing videos. Advice. I, I like to say I'm good at giving advice, but I don't know. And like tutorials. Um... It's just like overall like lifestyle videos like lifestyle and like yeah just oh uh, just even speaking about it makes my heart race because i'm just so excited to do these videos clothing hair makeup what else also like um routine videos i also want to do university videos because lately that's i've been binging like university like room tours and stuff like that like i'm pretty sure i've watched all room tours and university moving vlogs so yeah i also want to do vlogs i think they're so funny and i actually like making them i made a day in my life vlog with my friends at school before we left and i am um, almost finished editing it i just wanted to make it perfect and i wanted to put this video out first so that that one can be on my like new channel, if that makes sense. I also have two other videos that I made with my friends. It's not just going to be about makeup. And yeah, socks or sandals. Honestly, I really don't understand the question, but I would have to say sandals. Or maybe socks. No, definitely, I think, I think socks. Goals for 2020. One of my biggest goals for 2020 was to um, lose weight. 
your girl was on a grind at school like i would always go to the gym okay felt like i was on a grind at school so i want to get back into that i'm going to the gym i just paid my gym membership fee so i'm ready to get into the gym like it's so funny we literally have like a whole exercise room like right here in my house but we don't use it. <laughs> everything is so dusty actually let me show you guys it's literally right here and like we don't use it like we don't another one of my goals i actually have five so i'll just list them uh so the first one was to get fitter then the next one was for youtube i think my goal for 2020 is to at least reach like a thousand subscribers my next one is to work on self-confidence after leaving high school i kind of lost who i was for a minute for a second and i was like whoa because i realized with high school it's very easy to get sucked into what everyone else is doing and what you think that is cool or like fun you know i that happened to me that is one of my thingies so yeah definitely i'm working on my self-confidence and obviously start to create a brand for myself and create what i want to do in the future which i said before so yeah um still have quite a few questions so yeah um do you love me yes i do shout out mimi love you um levi loves you love you love you levi love you mimi you cuffed so <laughs> let me tell you guys something i i'm not gonna talk about this because your girl does not want to jinx anything i feel like uh, i just i don't want to jinx anything so i'm not gonna say anything and then until whatever happens happens then we will talk about this um send me your number okay it's um 07a best memory from high school you see the thing is with memories like my best memory i can't really say any because i think i just had the best time at school like obviously there were bad 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 times but like you know my best memory would probably just have to be hanging out with all my friends and just having a laugh i think the the times i actually laughed and i actually enjoyed myself was just the best times of my life and i think i can't really like put a stamp on what was the best memory i think just all of them were the best for me i have to say one of my best one of my favorite memories of like it wasn't my best memory but it was one of the most like stand out ish i don't even know how to speak one of the most like stand out ish memories for me would have to be i think we were on a grade 10 camp i was just sitting like on this like slope it was like a hill ish thing at camp and um one of the guys but basically he like literally slid up to me and he was like hey girl like what's what's your name and i was like oh my god like what is this i think that stood out for me so much and like every time i think of like woodridge i just think yo i can't even speak woodridge like i just think of that one specific moment and i just thought it was just the funniest thing ever um next question isn't charlene the cutest no <coughs> um why do you love charlene so much i don't <laughs> no i'm kidding love you charlene i know you're watching this oh you just, guys like i'm i can tell you now that if you want to be friends with anyone, be friends with Charlene, Megan, Cedric, Melissa. Like, that's, that's the squad. Like, like, that's the squad, guys. Like, me, Melissa, Charlene, Megan, Cedric. I swear to God, like, you will not have a bad time if you're with us. Like, I can promise you.
Don't you miss Charlene and Megan? I do not miss Charlene, okay? Charlene's in Canada right now, guys. And she thinks I miss her, but I don't because I literally see her every day because she will not let me just finish the streak off. I don't like streaks. I don't like them. But just somehow, I always end up starting them with people. I so literally, Charlene is always trying to start a streak with me, like all the time. So I see her every day. I speak to her every day. So it's not like, you know... Like, I see her. And Megan literally lives two minutes away from my house. Dating life. Once again. We don't talk about it. The thing is with my, like, dating life is I'm not very good at dating. Like, if you know me, you know I'm not, like, very good at dating. I have a really bad... Yeah. No. It's, not, it's just not for me, honestly. But... Things are coming up. I want dating advice. As I said, I really don't date. But. Um, honestly, I think like. For dating, you just have to. This is so cliche, but like just be yourself. The person that you want to be with, for example, probably knows you because you started off as their friend. And when you were their friend, you acted a specific way around them. So for example, let's say I wanted to date this guy, okay? And um, I was like, we were friends before and I would act a specific way around him, like the same way I act around my normal friends, I would act around him, you know? I think, I think sometimes like people will change the way they are tend to change the way they are for that person because they think they will like them but the reason that person likes you is because of the way you were before and not the way you are now does that make sense be yourself do you stay true to yourself okay I'm done favorite subject at school this is a tough question because if you actually know me and like you hung out with me you would know that i literally complained about every single class i was in i wouldn't say oh my god i literally hate this i actually don't want to be here i don't like this place like i would always hate on all my classes because i really didn't like any of the subjects i took it's like math math like accounting bio business um english french and like some other subject but like you know i didn't like any of my subjects like i i i still don't but if i choose one i would probably say business or like accounting not because they are good subjects because they i literally don't like any of them but because of the people i was in the classes with i think they were so hilarious and so funny um ever been bullied Honestly, if I was, I don't remember. So it probably wasn't that deep if I was. But yeah, probably. Um, opinions on Dowdy. <laughs> I don't even think you will ever watch this video. But yeah, love Dowdy. Love Tendo more. Doesn't speak to me, but love Tendo more. And yeah, I love Dowdy. He's... <laughs> He's just a headache sometimes, if you know Dowdy, if you know, um, if you know me, you probably know Dowdy. Dowdy's my cousin. Yeah. So yeah. I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who asked the question and just anyone who contributed anything to encouraging me to restart my YouTube channel and just keep creating videos and just content and all that stuff because honestly i literally i do not know what i would have done if no one encouraged me to keep doing what i wanted to do i can't even explain like i'm so grateful to everyone who contributed and like asked the question and hi guys so i am editing this video but i just wanted to let you know that there's some questions that i could not like i literally could not 
put in the video because it was just too long and like I couldn't answer every question obviously because not all of them are on here but I just wanted to say thank you for everyone who asked questions but just some of them were like way too long like I already said in the video I waffle so much but there was this one question that literally took me like half an hour so I literally could not edit any of it because it was just all important so I just decided not to film it I mean add it in but yeah basically I'm sorry if some of your questions were not answered but I literally could not fit them in like the video is already like almost 30 minutes so yeah thank you love you goodbye soon and just because this is the start of how I want this kind of channel to be so yeah please let me know what you want me to do next time i'm i already have so many videos lined up like i i literally already know like like i already have like a list of things that i want to do right now so i mean you know like i'm just really excited for this year and i just want to say thank you for watching this video if you watched it and well i mean you did watch it because you're watching this right now but anyways yeah thank you guys so much for watching please make sure to like and subscribe and yeah make sure to go follow my social medias they'll be down below <laughs> and yeah stay tuned for the day in my life vlog because i'm almost done editing it and it's literally the best video i think i've ever filmed in my life so yeah Thank you guys for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.